Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video talking about one of the most useful grips in jiu-jitsu that I don't see people talk about a lot, so go up. Um, so it's basically, uh, it's used in a lot of different situations. It's great for both offense and defense. And it's basically uh, kind of a calf grip here or a grip on the shin holding the pants kind of vertically like this. There's so many benefits to this. I'm gonna show it from De La Hiva, from Keymaster, and from an offense defense perspective. So one of the main reasons I like this is it's so accessible when you're defending. Often when someone's passing the guard, I'm trying to keep distance. So if they step their leg forward, I'm gonna push on their leg to create distance to keep myself away. This very naturally can turn into that grip, right? Once I get this, see if I grab the ankle, sometimes he'll kick his leg out and I can't hold. But if I grab this, not only do I defend him from coming forward, but now he tries to kick his leg away and it keeps me attached. I can follow him. As well as while I, I, he can't step away, if he tries to step back into me with it, I still always have that push and I can set my distance and control my range with this grip. Once I have this grip, now it's very easy to say switch into De La Hiva guard, right? Now, one of the ba uh, main aspects of it with De La Hiva guard is again, if, I, if my leg gets trapped or I don't like something, I can always push and get that extra space, um, but also start coming down and engaging in De La Hiva. It's like while I'm fighting, if I don't ever like the position or he postures up, I can come up on my elbow here uh, while holding this pant grip, right? If I come up here like this, this is okay, but again, it's easy for him to kick out when I'm here. When I have the pant leg, I can use this to keep distance, and this allows me to start setting up different grips and attacks and start building from here, right? Again, I'm here, I'm playing De La Hiva, I can control the distance, right? I can pull, I can push. So another awesome thing with this is like, let's say I'm in De La Hiva and he's keeping his grips away a lot, I can't get a grip. I can switch my left foot to the hip and I can really set my hip out and it's very easy to go foot on hip key master. If you're new to Jiu Jitsu, and a tripod sweep could work here like this, but guys who have really good balance, that can be hard. So I control this pant leg and now I butterfly hook and I can start pulling underneath. I can bump him forward. I could use this to switch to matrixes if he puts his knee on the floor, right? I can start using this to start setting up ankle lock attempts, all sorts of things start to open up there, right? Um, if he's like left leg leading, see like here, I can grab this grip here and now I can use this to keep range and off balance, start pulling them out here, control, set distance. So if you're used to always grabbing the ankle or even grabbing the cuff grip like this, this is okay, but you can't get the same kind of push and control over your body. So if you're used to using those grips, uh, adding that grip in will help you so much. You can sit down. <laughs> uh, Adding that grip in will help so much. So not only is it super useful because it's really easy to get to, but from a defensive perspective, it's often one of the first grips you're gonna get. It allows you to transition into De La Hiva, Key Master, which leads into so many other attacks. All right guys, so I'm back in Sweden now, so I'm gonna go back to my normal format of like bigger videos with a lot of rolling footage. I've been traveling doing seminars, so it's been hard to get a lot of content in. Uh, so comment and let me know what you guys would like to see in my next video. And as always, if you like the content, like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot.